superiority like fucking juice i feel it i have a question for you just for all the people listening but if you were to give one piece of advice for these kids just like 15 16 year old luca what would you give him what would you tell him Uh, i would say never listen to anyone who's never done whatever it is you're trying to do because you will end up not doing it just like them when i was growing up like i'll tell you the first day that eric (laughs) That's my life motto. That's my life motto. I actually have it right there to put it on a t-shirt somewhere. Put yeah, that, see, put make, that on a t, bro. Make, Unhappy s- make signature saying t-shirt right there. Wow. Yep. Those to-do lists are crucial. Oh yeah, I see that every single day, and I'm about to I'm about to finish my February. But uh, to to expand on that, the reason I came up with that conclusion is when I started digital marketing early 2018. Again, I'm a busser at two restaurants. Mm-hmm. Dropped out of college. I thought I was gonna be a real estate realtor, but that didn't go through. I remember Ty Lopez started his digital marketing agency. And at the time I had 1800 in my account, which I thought was so much. And I remember that came up and I said, there's something to that. Like, I think I could be good at that. And then I, I talked to my mom about it my parents and they're like, you know, you're for, you'll for sure fail at that. You shouldn't even try. You should just go back to college. But then I thought these people have never started. They don't know anything about Facebook. They don't know anything about digital marketing strategy. So why would I ever trust their opinion? Boom, bought the course the next day. And then, just that I didn't learn drop shipping from it, right. but the knowledge of it led to me where I am now. If I would have listened to ever, like my friends were saying, it was a stupid move. Just all these people were telling me what not to do when they haven't done it themselves. It's just like in Grant Cardone's book, he goes, you know, it's amazing. When I moved to California, everyone in my hometown was saying, you're, you're going to spend way too much money. It's too expensive. And there's a lot of weirdos out there. And he said, keep in mind, this is coming from people who have never even been to California to visit. Right. And they're saying this stuff. And I see that a lot. Like when someone wants to be an actor or a musician, they listen to their parents or like their guidance counselor's advice saying, listen, I think you should choose a more logical approach. Now, if you want to actually make it in those, you got to find an actor who's willing to talk to you, who's already done it. And a musician who's, who's willing to talk to you, who's already done it and not, and for God's sakes, you don't want to DM them and say, can you mentor me? You right. want to establish that legit, legit connection and then listen to every single thing that they tell you everything and do it even if it doesn't make sense agreed that's my number one how about you if you were to tell 16 year old scott prepare yourself and i mean that and that's applicable even to us now and that is envision who you want to be the question is, is like for me growing up, I knew I was going to be rich. I just knew it, dude. I knew I, I'm too high maintenance, bro. Like I knew I needed to like live a certain type of way. I just didn't know how, right? That's just always the mystery question. Like how, right? How are you going to make millions of dollars, right? And the how is going to come and the how always comes, but it's about having the right skill set in your arsenal so that when you figure out how you're going to make millions of dollars, you're prepared to do so. And I mean this in multiple facets. I mean that financially, right? If you're, you know, a young kid, save up your money, dude. Stack, not ten, not thousand dollars, not five thousand, like as much as you can, like possibly, right? Because when that idea comes, like you need some liquidity. When I first started drop shipping, if I didn't have that five thousand dollars in my shoebox, like I wouldn't have been able to take the risk. I wouldn't have been able to quit my job. Like I had no, you know what I mean? So that helped me, right? Once I started becoming successful, one of the things I really attribute my success to is how I can speak to people, right? Like one of the things, like when I was starting, I just knew I saw saw all these entrepreneurs, all these really successful people, like just, you know, speaking really well. And I knew like I needed to get my vocabulary up. I need to be able to have, I need to be able to sound like the person I wanted to sound like, right? I knew I needed to focus. I knew I needed to be able to how to focus. Like I, I couldn't focus. So I was like, I would train myself to do little things. Like if I can't focus for 30 minutes and do this, attribute good habits, right? And so that when the how comes, right? you're there. Like, and even now, like somebody like you or I, like, where do you want to be in 10 years? Where do I want to be in 10 years? What things can I do now to put myself in a position so that 10 years from now I can execute the things that I want to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And thus preparation because how, like, I don't know how I'm going to be worth hundreds of millions of dollars one day. I didn't know how I was going to be a millionaire though, too. You know what I mean? It will come right. You know, the universe works in very mysterious ways and the law of attraction is something i really really believe in like if you want it and you're going for it it's going to come to you but you have to be prepared 
because if it comes and that opportunity is there and you don't know how to focus and you're sitting at a meeting and you speak like a Muppet and like no one's taking you seriously and you you can't hold your own and you're not somebody that can actually have the doesn't have the wherewithal to sit there for four hours and stare at the computer because you're just like so used to doing 20 different things. You know what I mean? Like playing your video game, hopping on your iPhone. Like these are things that like no matter what level of success you're at, I feel like is applicable on all tiers of like the totem pole, you know, prepare yourself, dude, because when it comes, you need to have the resources and the knowledge and wherewithal to execute. And I think that's really important. And then also very importantly, the openness, because one of the big mistakes I see a lot of people have is they're like, like they have this plan and they have these exact steps on how to get to it. And they're so narrow minded on that plan that they don't see that like, oh, maybe this exit is going to take me there 10 years earlier. And so I remember explaining this when I was in college. Like, I I remember I was saying the same thing. Like, I know I'm going to be very wealthy. I don't know exactly how. And nor do I worry about it. All I know is that it is happening. And I'm already feeling like it has happened. You know, as soon as you feel like it's already happened, you know, all that. Uh, but But the issue is, like I said, when I dropped out, I had like one small connection in LA. And I said, I'm going to be a realtor because he's in real estate. If I would have st- stuck with that, I would probably just be another realtor in LA right now. But the fact that I was like open completely to look, I was looking for a location. I, it honestly boiled down to this. I didn't want anyone telling me what to do ever again. Yep. I was told what to do my whole life. I was the youngest, you know, so it comes right. from that. And so when I found out that, you know, realtor, you still have to like kind of take orders and all this. Maybe I can do my own thing. Thus, I was open to the digital marketing strategy. Thus, I was open to drop shipping. And that's how I got here today if I would have just stuck to that original plan or the OG plan of just going to college, like you said, it, it makes no business sense to go to college and become more in debt. 